Alright guys, today we are going to try something insane which is uh, to basically do SEO without eyes um, When I say without eyes, I don't necessarily mean that uh, I will literally go blind for this because uh, I think that would literally not be very worth uh, the hassle of trying to gorge my eyes out So what we'll do instead is basically I'll be wearing a blindfold and then uh, we'll see whether I can do SEO without eyes, right? I mean, not without eyes, but without using my eyes. Uh, I think this would definitely this would definitely not be possible. So if you can't tell by now, <laughs> uh, that's actually not something that I'll be doing. But uh, what we're gonna do instead is we're literally gonna work on a client's SEO campaign. Because uh, if you haven't noticed. Um, doing <laughs> doing a client's SEO campaign without using your eyes is as good as uh, asking the client to throw money into the river. So that's definitely not what we're gonna do. What we're doing instead is we're actually gonna work on a client's SEO campaign and get them the results that they deserve. Um, I'm sorry if like you know the clickbait uh, upset you, but. Uh, I'm sorry, but seriously, it's a very noisy place out there. And in order for us to get any clicks, in order for a new YouTube channel like myself to get any clicks, um, it's really a, it's really a tough shot, right? Especially for like a small YouTube channel like mine. So um, let me just unplug all my devices so that I can work on this properly. Um, by the way, if you have any questions in terms of like related to SEO or marketing or whatever. Uh, marketing related question, digital marketing related question, you can feel free to ask in the live chat. You can see that we have one we have one viewer right now. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just go ahead to start working on a campaign. We, this is actually where we left off the last time around. Uh, we are working on this client, SG permits. Uh, so we haven't actually had a chance to inform the client that Uh, there are certain keywords that needs to be rejected and replaced by new ones, but uh, either ways, we'll, we will do the rest first, otherwise there will be too much back and forth, and I don't like there to be too much back and forth. So if you can't really tell by now, um, at this stage it's actually extremely repetitive. Uh, it's just an iterative process for us to try to rank the client's website uh, for certain keywords. Uh, so right now, I'll tell you what, since we have two viewers now, let me try to do SEO like uh, without using my eyes. Yeah. And then we'll see what happens. Yeah. So uh, I don't know whether you can see my eyes, but <laughs> all right. So this is the client's um, spreadsheet, right? And this is the website. Okay. So let me try to close my eyes. Okay, so uh, let me go to the left of the spreadsheet. Let me go to the right. Okay, never mind, I failed. Okay, I'm not gonna try it anymore. Okay, <laughs> uh, back to getting serious about work. Um, so uh, let's take a look at this. So we got shaving brush, Singapore. Um, so yeah, position three. So we need to change the title tag. Uh, we let's take a look at this other pages. All right then. Um, looks like they got five products, and this guy just has one. This guy has a shit ton of it. So it's the same format, I will definitely beef up the content by asking my content writer to write more content and also adding in the frequently asked questions as well. Um, next one is not required. Blue Man Singapore. <laughs> I mean, um, at this point, if you're on the first two positions, uh, 
there really isn't a need for you to try to target the keyword bro like um, let's just go back down should we just do this yeah we should read uh, American crew fiber wow that's some hardcore stuff bro uh, American crew fiber hmm Technically, I could conditional format this thing, but um, and I can filter and replace, but I don't think um, I would like to automate it to that point because there might be times where we don't actually uh, want to just directly copy and paste, so I'll leave that out for now. By the way, we still have one view on stream if you have any questions related to your SEO or you need help with your SEO or you are still getting started and whatnot, you can feel free to ask any questions. Uh, men's grooming. Yeah, this is what I mean. So if you encounter a point where it's po it points back to the home page again, oh shit. <laughs> uh, Sorry about that. If you points back to the home page again, what you want to do is you ideally want to create a separate page that talks specifically about men's grooming. Either that or we can optimize the existing page, but I recommend not doing that. Uh, reason being, if you look at all these other pages, right, they kind of have a listicle, listicle, and then followed by the home page, and then uh, category page, category page, category page, category page. So we have two options here. Number one, listicle. Number two, category page. Um, I would recommend that we create a listicle. So let's do that. So over here they have five. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put six. Uh, five, six best grooming shops, six best men grooming shops in Singapore. Twenty twenty. Okay, we'll put current month. Does Shopify allow for current month? Entitle tag. Ah, never mind, I'll just put 2020. That's why I prefer using WordPress. I think there's more like features that you can use. Um, but really, two more viewers just joined. Um, if you're just joining us, I attempted uh, to do SEO without my eyes and I gave up because it's just not possible. Um, we're still working on this client's website because uh, it's an important site and we, I mean, it's not, an, it's it's a client, so you need to treat the client right and you got to do his, his website. Um, best man grooming, uh, let me see, what did it put? Best man grooming shops, yeah. Let's just do this. Just assign this to my content writer to do that. I hate this thing. Why I don't know why this thing keeps coming up. It's so annoying. This quotation thing. Is it because of my scroll lock? I don't know. But anyways, um, Acadian clay permit. I'm just gonna leave that out for now. Where to buy permit? Let's see, 
Do they have where to buy for mates here? Nope. So we'll just leave it as the same as the home page. If we go up, you can see that the home page has the same. So what I'll do is I'll go inside here and I will tell my content writer to write please add a frequently asked question for where to buy home in Singapore okay let's go back to the home page let me add this in I'll try to systemize this whole process so that it's scalable and easily replicable on many clients and uh, and so on and so forth. So that's the reason why I'm doing this. Duplicated. Natural Shampoo Singapore. If you still don't understand what I'm trying to do, I'm basically trying to reverse engineer what's already working well on the first page or the first position and then making sure that our client or my client has um, has the same strategy or rather a similar strategy that they're using or even better so that we can outrank the competitors um, so we don't even have anything so to be a hundred percent sure yep What we're doing is we're mapping the title tag to the correct URL so that when I pass it to my content writer uh, they know what to do with the content and then we can upload the content after that is done um, in some cases the content writer would be me because uh, it depends on whether I want to hire one content writer for this. The scroll lock is messed up. Let me try to get rid of that. Uh, hang on, something is wrong with the scroll lock. No. Seems to be working, but she's not listening to me. Alright man, enough about me. What about you guys? How, how's your week so far? Today is Tuesday. Hope it's productive for you guys. Two viewers on stream, you guys can say hi if you want. Um, most of the time we do need to work very closely with the client to um, to make sure that we are synced up with how we want to create the pages and the content because a lot of times, it's not about just hiring the SEO agency to get all the work done for you. It's also about managing the inventory of the store, of the front store, so that uh, so that your website can rank well because of the way you optimize and the way you categorize it. What the hell is all this?
Try to change these to My numbers are up this week. Good for you, bro. What what numbers? Your traffic. So we need to tell the client change your structure from this to this. Perform three one redirect for a new URL. Change the title of the blog post to best Add in FAQ schema. Um, what else we got? Remove spam comments. So this is why we don't just filter out and replace because of instances like this. Oh, they have Google Shopping. Nice. I've been trying to get Google Shopping for another client, but it just keeps getting rejected. So, hair styling products, right? Um, let me see. Hair styling products. So most of the hair styling products have the title tag of hair styling products. I would propose we come up with a new blog article for this and we just call it hair styling products. Uh, I just put like 10 best hair styling products in Singapore. Something is wrong with the scroll lock, bro. Why is this happening? Uh, write new blog article with 10 new hair styling products. Internally link them back to each product. CBD cakes, which of your site went out in traffic? I'm going to buy ProRasso products in Singapore. Um, let's see, do we have an aftershave? We have an aftershave, so we want to use the aftershave page. The aftershave page not ranking well. Uh, it looks like it's quite a beef page. Let's take a look at Google Search Console and see why. I'm trying to open up the client's Google Search Console to see see which page is showing up for this keyword. Very weird. Is this page not indexed? Uh, 
Does he not talk enough about aftershave? <laughs> Is that a reason why? Yeah bro, there's only two aftershaves here. Uh oh, sorry, it's another one. Okay, so in, in if that's the case we wanna go inside here and see. Ah okay. So there's three pages here and there's only one. Beef up the content for the aftershave page uh, in FAQ schema. Point a few backlinks over here for aftershave. General CBD search and a uh, first video ranking. Nice. I don't suppose this is your site, <laughs> uh, right? What's what's the keyword that you're ranking for? CBD cakes. For Russell, it's position four. So Take a look. CBD Kicks UK. A cake that contains CBD, cannabis, edibles are legal in the UK as long as the active ingredient comes from a plant and contains 0% THC. Is that you? Nice. Yeah, it's ranking. Even created a GMB for that. Okay, I'm not gonna use Ahrefs to, to take a look at your site now. Uh, let me just continue with my client's stuff. Uh, Blue Man for me. Oh, it's very tough to outrank the. Can't really optimize for this. I recall we had a we had one with the shaver, the razor blades. See on top. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the stream here. I gotta attend to something else. So um, if you guys are into this kind of content, just let me know. Does your site have client site sell CBD? No, I don't do anything related to cannabis for now. 
uh, we don't really have wheat here in Singapore. So yeah, uh, I'll be back later. Just give me about two hours or so. <laughs> I gotta take a sales call.